What's up, me hooligans? How you doing? And welcome back to Jurassic World. The game logo flies in with a thingy. Woo! And welcome. Oh, it's been so long. Another week, another episode of Jurassic World. The game because everything's refreshed. We got free speed ups and all this jazz. But there is something else. There is a new thing added to the game. What's that? They've added. A season pass? Hold on. Let's uh, let's just see. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. You know, 30 bucks for a free pack. That's really good. And, you know, some extra VIP points because we're VIP. A game that has basically 100 pound microtransactions that you can do, but only one every 24 hours. So that's okay. But then you can do all these unlimited. It also has fidelity thing that you can join up for. I don't even know how much. 14 49 a month. Oh, uh, yeah. And not only that, it has a VIP, which you can pay for. God knows how much that is. But now not only do we have all of these microtransactions, we've got another one because it's not enough just to have one or two. Or three ways of making money. No, we need a mystical fourth way. And that is a season pass. So, Beaver, are you not annoyed? Are you not outraged? Are you not entertained? That we have a new way of losing our money? Well, let's have a talk about this. So, what is this season pass? This season pass. So, you have a VIP daily, a weekly, and a season. Uh, of certain things or missions that you can do in the game uh, that give you pointeroos. And these pointeroos all go towards this. Now, when it first came along, it was like season pass. Oh, this is like that Fortnite thing, right? That was the first game that had like season passes or that I really remember it taking off. I'm sure it wasn't. I'm sure there were other games, but I seem to remember that one being like the most popular anyway. Uh, so now that you have a season pass, you get certain things for free which is very nice. However, if I was to all of a sudden upgrade to a season pass for $8.99, now bear in mind, it's actually quite cheap for a whole month. Uh, you get a uh, thousand bucks, a uh, hundred thousand food, and uh, maybe another thousand bucks, as well as a guaranteed, basically, flyer. It could be a rare, could be a super rare, but it would very rarely be, or very unlikely, be a tournament creature. Now, you're probably not unlock said flyer, when you uh, open this pack. But if we take a look at the certain prizes that you win. So you got 75 bucks there. Okay. Uh, and then you might have a chance of getting 35 bucks in this one. Right, right. Because remember, pterosaur packs and stuff like this don't give you any bucks. Nothing. All right, okay. So what, if we don't do VIP or this season pass, we're only down 40 bucks. Okay, okay, only down 40 bucks. And then, oh, there's, so we're down... Uh, you know, what is it, 85 bucks? But wait, there's a 20. So we're only down 65 bucks. Okay, okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Oh, and then a 50, okay, we're down 100 odd bucks. <gasps> but then another 25 bucks. Okay, and then it's the end. And at this point, when you get the Pteranodon pack, you're guaranteed, you're not guaranteed anything, let's be honest. But you've got a good chance of getting some books. You could get 1,500. Now, you don't get anything more for being a VIP in the pack. So... Your prizes that you get for becoming a Season Pass member are, in air quotes, they're better. They are. You cannot deny they're better. However, I'm not spending money on this. I'm not going to get a Season Pass because sod it. You don't get many bucks. And that's all I care about in this game. Oh, money. Um, but you, I'm getting extra free stuff. So I'm not annoyed at this at all. I, if they add more things that give me more things... I don't care. As long as I don't have to spend money on them, it's an option. And I think I had a little bit of a backlash, or at least I saw comments in the Jurassic World Alive video because I was sick of it. I was like, uh, uh, this, all this game is is pay to win. And then so I saw a comment, not even in my video actually, it was the toxic Facebook group, that was it. Um, <laughs> saying something like, well, no one's asking you or telling you to spend your money. If I want to spend my money that way, I can spend your money that way. And that's fine. If you want to spend your money, feel free. All I'm saying is that eventually, um, your money is basically wasted because the, the money that you're putting into the game on a dinosaur is not going to be good and you're paying for it to be good and yada yada. This game's not like that. This is great. It's good. Uh, that's why I like it. So when we do our, you know, we go into verses, we click on uh, that, we go into a battle. And we just exit it because that's what we want to do. We want to exit the game because who cares about these ones? They're only for a mission. As soon as we load up an opponent, well, you know, when the game wants to load us up an opponent, 
<laughs> They're very overpowered. Too overpowered, one might say. We close it. We jump back in. Ooh, we got a lovely new splash screen. I've never seen that one before. Already Jurassic World Alive is recycling its splash screens. However, I don't think we've ever had it in Jurassic World the game, which is interesting. It's always been a new splash screen every time. Um, right, also, uh, yes, I will spend all of that on this because... Chances are, I'll not get a Stiggy Moloch pack. But if I do, I'll get more than a thousand VIP points back for it. So, you know, that it's all about the... It's all about the transactions, dear. That's what it's about. So, and a silver prize. You never know. We might even get a card pack if we get super lucky. Or a Velociraptor is also very, very good. Uh, hopefully we get a Titan. Yes! Okay, I think that was towards... We needed a level 20 Era Titan for some sort of mission. Uh... There it is, mission complete. Don't know why, but because of season pass, I'm doing things in the game that I would not normally do, like hatching an Oncopristes uh, for another season pass. So I don't know what that was for. It was a weekly, so hatch two surfaces, 250 points. And, ooh, we're getting more even then. And a VIP pass. So level up one Aero Titan to level 20. 630 Points! Oh, yes! Whoa! Very good, very good. I like it. And uh, we got one of those. We're just fun. We're not really going to level up too much there. So now, we're bombed all the way through that. And we've got ourselves a 35 bucks. So, I'm going to quickly have a look to see what other things we've got to spend. Food, we've got loads of things to do. Um... And also, I will actually quickly check on Twitter because somebody has linked me all of the new dinosaurs that are coming up as part of hybrids. Right, this is it. Persian King 44, I think it is. He always sends me the, the latest stuff. So, we have a, um, what is this? The Bagesaurus, or ba Bage, Bagehesaurus, uh, which is a level 40 Adaphosaurus, which I'm pretty sure we have, and a level 40 uh, Bagerpi. Um, I think that's what it's called, but I think that's the one that I actually don't have, because I think it's an aquatic. I could be wrong, so if I go to ones that I haven't unlocked, um, oh, oh, ba Bagerp? Bejurpe. Ah, uh, it's probably a uh, Jurassic, actually, that I don't have, I'm assuming, because I don't remember this. Yeah, there it is. So we're not going to be able to get that, because I think this was the crocodile that I just, I, yeah, I missed that one. I've also missed Dinosuchus. Have we had that one? Have we had Dinosuchus? Oh my god, yes. <gasps> I'm terrible. Uh, the next hybrid is a Gilaranchiops, which is a level 40 Dolionchiops, or Dolionchiops, and a Gilicus, which is the uh, Aquatics. So we take a quick look, not into the center of the zone, Jane. There we go. So we want a Dolly. Where is a Dolly? It should be alphabetical, right? But it isn't, because it's extra. No, so we've got level 40 Dolly, so that's good. And then we need a level 40 Gilicus, which I'm pretty sure... Yes! So we're ready for that one. And that one is a reef, and it's like a super uh, legendary hybrid. So that's going to be really good. Uh, next one is a Cap... Oh, what is that? Capradanthius? Which is a Caprasuchus Gen 2 and a Tupendactus level 40. So I, again, I don't think I have the Caprasuchus Gen 2. Oh! Oh, I must do! Yes! We got level... Okay, so we're going to get that one. And that looks like it's going to be a really good one. A bit like Metrophodon. So I'm looking forward to that one. And the final one, I think, is the Secodontonathus. Which is another super hybrid legendary. And we've already got that. That was Scapa and the Secodontosaurus. So we do not need to worry about that. And that is all the hybrids. As well as we're getting two new creatures. We're getting the um, Platygragus. Which is a Ophthalmosaur. An Ichthyosaur. As well as an Oviraptor as well. Would you believe? So looking forward to seeing all of those. But... What do we have in our thingy? Oh, yes, let's do some trades. Trades are always good. And then we can have a look to see what kind of battles we can do. Always decorations, full loyalty points. Gotta do. Heck yeah. If we need packs, if I'm, you know, if I'm, it's late now and I'm like, oh, I just want to open some packs. I'll 100% just like open up some really cheap VIP packs because I can't be bothered to do battles. I'd rather save time and do it that way. Oh no, that's, that's a good one, however. I'll take that. Uh, oh, the Raptor we just got for free. I'll trade for 109 bucks. Uh, a couple of that, I'll trade that as well. Oh, oh, it's all about, what's 7,000 bucks already? Sweet. Uh, so we'll spend 50 bucks, hopefully get something good. I'll trade 4 million food for that. I don't see why not. 
A cool Asuchus for that. That's pretty decent. A Pteranodon. Heck yeah. For a thousand. And another box. <gasps> yes. Okay, so it's reimbursed me for the pop I've just done. And this final one for another 50 bucks. Hopefully any more bucks? No. And unfortunately nothing good there. But we're still over. Uh, we did a mission there. Uh, we've got nothing towards this. Also, we got this as well. I don't even know what this one's about. 17 hours for what? Is it just hatching things? It must be. So we'll collect those, giving us a, you know, a little bit more points. We'll just spend, of course, food as well. Getting there. Uh, so we're getting close to doing that. But really, you want to focus on the VIP season ones. Fusing eight pterosaurs isn't that difficult. Uh, 40 battles, of course, isn't that difficult. And use 60 amphibians also isn't that difficult. The only problem is that... If you want to do these instantly, they're going to cost you bucks, and they're not worth it. Even if you had the season pass, I wouldn't say it's worth it. Like, well, along the shores, you might get 30 bucks if you're lucky. Let's be honest, dear. And it's not very good. So we'll claim... Oh, we'll claim that, yes. We'll claim the coin. Or the, not that we really need it. And we'll claim our Along the Coast pack. Which, there we go, we had a chance of getting 30 bucks. And we didn't get a single 10 bucks. But we did get 100 VIP, so it's not all bad. Uh, we do need that, so we'll take that. Uh, we've got the 60 bucks, we'll take that. And there it is, 35 bucks. That's what I'll take. I think I said books last time I met DNA. 375,000 coin. A decoration. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> 56,000 of that. So look at that. We're on 2,000 points. And the final is about 7,250. Now, I don't know whether we need all of it to get to that. That's our main goal is obviously to get Tyrannus. Tarandon Gen 2 and we've got 24 days left to do it and let's say six days have passed already and we've got almost 2,200 so another six days like 4,000 and odd and yeah we're basically gonna get it well within reach I think anyway although saying that we've only got so many of these seasons to get out of these rewards but already that's 24,000 no 2,400 Yes, it's 2004, and adding from that, which would take us to, like, 4,000. Uh, actually, no, I think we're going to have to do a lot of daily things. We're going to have a lot of, We've also got weeklies as well, and there's quite a fair few weeklies. Use 20 snows isn't that bad. Purchase 30 prize drops isn't that bad. Open 15 card packs is very easy. And daily missions. So, yeah, I think we're in with a good shot of, uh, of getting all of this. But let's have a look at what we're going on here. We've got the, um, the 3BB, whatever is it called? The testy of, oh my god, there's 1,500 bucks worth in that pack. Oh, I should be doing this. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I should definitely be doing this. Um, but it's, it's, it's a long, long thing to do and we're not going to start it now. We've got Rarity Rumble. Uh, we've got It's a Whiteout. And Iconic Battles. Ooh, what did we get in this dinosaur? Oh, oh, we need to do this. However... Get the feeling it's going to be quite tough. Tiny Terrors. Okay. What's the entry for Tiny Terrors? Oh, Tiny Terrors isn't that bad. And I bet Gold Reward is a lot of VIPs. Uh, what's this one? Oh, God, yes. The one that gives us, you know, maybe 100, 150 bucks. Yeah, that's the really tough one. Tiny Terrors is fun, though. Heck, yeah. Let's just throw in... Yeah, I don't care. Throw in one of these. Actually, what we should be doing is just throwing in him and, well, like, lower-level aquatics or amphibians, just so we're slowly getting towards the next VIP thing. It's busy, guys. It's busy. It's a busy time. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, um, oh, yeah, some some of you guys might know what's going on. Others may not. Don't worry. I'll update you all. It's nothing bad. Yet. Anyway, I don't think. Hopefully not. It'll be all, it'll be all great. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's just, um, yeah, first time me and Whitney are doing something like this. And it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it is tense. <laughs> right. So, um... Yes, so we just want to click all amphibians, because that's what we want to do. Put in something good, Caprasu Gen 2, and then just throw in some of those. And I think we'll we'll be all fine and dandy. Uh, actually, it's the uh, Dimorphodon I'm a bit worried about. Just just a little bit squishy. Squishy worried. <laughs> because that's, that's going to be very good against me. But good news is, hopefully he only had one attack. I think he only had one attack. Dimetrodon will come in, have a nerve attack. He's the unicorn wizard! Remember that? Ah! <laughs> right, hits me. Okay, okay. 
Uh, one, two. Uh, and then I'll go for two block here. I'm a little bit worried. Um, I think you only hit me for one. I'm not sure. Please tell me you hit me for two. <gasps> oh, I could have been close. Oh, and he goes for two. Perfect. Wow. Okay, so he's got one block. We've got four. I'm pretty sure we kill him in three. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, that was close. He's going to get fused. Got to get fused. So there's going to be a big update. And I think this is all um, accumulating for the release of Dominion. It's got to be. It's got to be the release of Dominion. We've got, like, what is it? Giga is coming to Jurassic World Alive. I think they've started teasing it. Um, you've got all these new hybrids coming to Jurassic World the game. Uh, of course we'll have a DLC. We're going to have to have a DLC for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Um, because there was always that little bit um, in the campaign. There was a perfect section for a Jurassic World uh, Dominion uh, DLC. So I'm, I'm curious about that. And of course, we'll, I, I'm assuming it'll be paid for. And I'm assuming we'll get a new skin for the Giga. I'd be very surprised if we didn't and they kept the other Giga. Because we've had dinosaurs like T-Rex, like Brachiosaurus, that have had skins for Jurassic Park 3 or Lost World. And the Brachiosaurus model itself, oh my god, almost killed me, um, has completely changed. So, you know, the Giga in Dominion does, looks nothing like Jurassic World Evolution 2's Giga and Evolution 1's Giga, which they kept over. Um, so they'll definitely, it'll definitely be a skin and it'll probably even have its own unique animations. I wouldn't be surprised if it has, have a, <laughs> if it has its own unique animations because it's not just a skin. It's a completely new dinosaur hidden within a skin, basically, uh, because the way the files are on, um, what's it called on like on the computer or, you know, when you go in and you, you change things for mods, um, it is a completely different file. It's not just like, oh, change the skin of that. And we may as well do this as well because we've got to get we've got to get some new uh, super hybrids as well. We've got to put something in the thumbnail, and we've got to do our battle stage infinite pack as well because I think is oh it might not be a rare actually. I think I may have done that yesterday or the day before, something like that. I've definitely done it not too long ago, so we'll have to we'll have to take a look. I feel like it might be a VIP mystery pack. Could be wrong though. I, th I don't think I am. I think I remember looking at it and going, ah, damn, I had a run of luck with it being common, common, rare. And now we're back. To oh, God. Now we're back to the mysteries. We were so close. So close. But you know what? 105 DNA is fine. It's fine. Nah, I, I don't want to do any more of that. Blumen Stego. Right, he took care of a good old Owen. Flying off to Malta and saving all them dinosaurs. Um, right. So, yes, I was doing the tiny terrors. For some VIP points, that's what I was doing. I was also just, just grinding out some of these things. So we'll just put in two of those. They're they're really good in their own right. Level 10 Mastodonosaurus. That's all you need. That's all you need. You don't need these amazing creatures. Just get some VIPs. That's all you need. I wonder what it's like. Because for me, I can pretty much get any VIP pack I can. I don't know whether it's due to my level or the dinosaurs have unlocked. But this game has changed a lot since I played it the first time. And I've had people say to me that certain dinosaurs are locked between, or just completely gone from unlocking. Because it used to be battle stages. So, you, you know, the, when you leveled up, you got a new battle stage, and then you might unlock a new dinosaur, or you get a pack to unlock a dinosaur. I think it wasn't even a pack, it was just that dinosaur itself. Like, you get one of, and it would be like, you've unlocked, woohoo! Whereas now, I'm really not too sure. I'm not too sure how it goes. Hopefully, you can still get every dinosaur in the game without having to buy any packs. Because that would suck if that's the case. But the way this game is, I don't know. I don't know who's at the helm of it. But they've done a good job keeping it, you know, not feeling too microtransaction heavy. A bit like Jurassic World Alive is. And that's the reason why Jurassic World Alive feels the way it does. Is just because, oh, 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 well. Oh, John Hammond statue, that saves me, actually. But that's what we want. Oh, 1,300 VIP points. I'm happy with that. I'll take it. And it is a VIP mystery pack. But what's good about it is we can use our really good hybrids. And they are, by hybrids, I mean also hybrid carnivores. Because there's no amphibians here. And there is a herbivore. Which is brilliant. It's almost got 20,000 health. Whereas Tupendectus does have 20,000 health. I get the feeling I want... A tank out first, 
Then I want Indoraptor. And then I, we still need... Have I got any speed-ups done? Heck yeah. Let's get you done in, son. Let's go. Right, I think we've won this. I'd be very surprised. Basically, we've, the one dinosaur on their team gives me double attack. Or, you know, an extra 50% attack and nerfs his own attack. So, I can block for one here and still survive to the next round. And then, I can go for, what, like four reserves, one block or something? Ooh! 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 If I had more attack, I might have been tempted to go for an attack here and kill him. Because he only had one block, so I could have went for four attacks straight through. But we'll see, we'll see. Oh, I still survived! He's only got one block. Now I'm tempted. However, um... Yeah, he's got one block. Sure, why not? Kills and factor in that one. And I've still got three reserve. And he went for... Oh, yes! And we unlocked that one. And we fully maxed the Dimetro... Dimetrocarnus. That was it. Two Pendactylus. We need to have a look. If we've got Indoraptors to instantly fuse, I want to do that. We'll have a look at how much super DNA we've got left. Because I've, I've hatched loads um, of them. Because I think the, the cooldown was, wasn't was too much. I'll factor in one just in case. Because I, I think he might have went all out. But we'll have a look. So that's that then. And then 8,000 attack. Ooh, it's the Iguana Sutures. Maxed up. I've never seen that maxed up. Oh, it looks kind of cool. Right. Well, we may as well just go for an all out attack on it. One million. Is it one million or is it just 122,000? It's got to be 122,000 attack. But I think it blocked for some. And, oh, 50,000. Takes that. Look at how green it is. Oh, it's quite nice. Shame I don't have that one. Hey. Oh, maybe I do. I don't know. We should have a look at it. Maybe we should try and max that guy out. <gasps> Ooh, we should. Okay, and the mystery pack. Well, hey, and no books. But, you know, some extra extra VIP points. As well as now we've opened up three packs. And the next one is going to be a common, which isn't so bad. And then another 35 books. And we've done that, taking us to a free Aero Titan. It's great. I love it. So, yeah, we're doing really good on that scoreboard as well as some of that. Tiny Terrors, very good. Uh, right, now let's have a look. It was in here, and it was Super Hybrids. So, Giga, I think, or the Gigantocephalus, I'm not too fussed about. Spinotosuchus, maybe? But it's Indoraptor. Let's have a look. What do I have a lot of? 4,000 Monolophosaurus DNA and 2,000 Ankylosaur. So what does Monostegotops? And I've already got that guy. Ooh, right, okay. So I think we're kind of good for super hybrids, but let's take a look at, you know, the, the, the super strong boys. Let's have a look at just regular hybrids. Right, apparently I haven't had a Spinoraptor before. Well, that's that's a blatant lie. I've had a loads of, I've had loads of quackers. Um... Unless these are just things I've hatched. Right. So we Iguana Sutures, we could spec into. Chroma Spinus as well, I think is supposed to be very good. But again, it's another carnival. I feel like I want, if I want anything, it's Iguana Sutures. Let's have a go to. Right. How much is Iguana Sutures? It's 80,000. And on Armo Mata, I actually do have a maxed up. Let's look at the difference of this. So Iguana Sutures has 400 less attack. And also has 4,000 less health. But then again, it's it's 2,800 cheaper. So I can kind of forgive it somewhat, but can I really? I need to get eight of those, and that's not even the cost of one. And I'd rather have... I'd rather have the attack and health on the Chroma Spino. I really would. It's 82,000 though. Oh God, I can only get one. I can only get one of these guys. Right, we're gonna have to have a look through and sell any dinosaurs. Oh yeah, I've also now, oh, have I actually unlocked Bumpy now? No, I haven't. I would have loved to have gotten a max level Bumpy. Uh, but you know what, we'll go for more. Two Pundactylus DNA, I think I should have changed this because I think the DNA I'm getting from this isn't very good. Or the dinosaur I'm unlocking isn't very good at all. But you know what? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> Should've switched it to Raptor. Should've switched it to Raptor. I'll remember that. But I think the Mono Stegotops might be 2,000. So we we could get another two Mono Stegotopses. Ste Stegotop, ah, yes. Oh, beautiful, yeah, 80. Oh, we're, ooh, we're in the leagues for some good DNA here. 
We need a... Oh, yeah! Oh, how much is that? 600? Ooh, 770. Yes! I'll take it. Um, oh, yeah, we got. We might as well feed those. We've got to fuse some pterodactyluses as well. Um, and we've got some instant fuses. Do we not? No, we don't. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant. No, I'm not doing any more, man. Oh, and leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. What we got? Um, right. So I wanted the most expensive. I want the Chroma Spiner. I really do. We've got Draco Rex maxed up. We've got Scorpius Rex, Udon, Pachygalosaurus, Metrophodon, Gl Gl Glyphornax. Do we do we? Maybe, maybe Zalmonodon would be good, actually. We, we've we already got level 20, and we've got two of them. Wait, what? Zalmonodon? Let's have a look. Where is that? Zalmonodon would be a good one to get. I don't know why it's saying... Right, I don't have that one. He would be a good one as well to have. The Terra Quetzal, but we don't have a Trandon Gen 2. Zalmonodon, okay. So we've got a level 10. So that's one, two, three. We need five. We need five. And we can basically almost get three. So we could get a level 30 Zalmonodon. But I really like the Chroma Spino. I just want the Chroma Spino. Can I not just have the Chroma Spino? Praetorium, we got level 40. Go, go. Yep, yep. We don't have a log. Alongimus. Alongimus. We don't have you. But everything else. We've pretty much got a level 40. I want the Chroma Spino. I want the amazing Chroma Spino. Uh, so we'll get one of those. And then I need to have a look to see what I've got the most of. There's a cheeky, uh, cheeky Dilophosaur knocking about over there. Right. Ooh, maybe we should have got one of these. Yes, I think we should. I think we should. We'll get one of those as well. Have I not got my instant hatches back? Damn it! In tw basically, in 24 hours, I get everything back. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of those, but I think I think I'm kind of good. We got gyrospheres to do. We got boss events to do as well. But I'm kind of okay. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I think we've done. We're, we're getting towards. We're getting towards some things. Uh, we've got that lovely, annoying sound playing in the background. I think what I'll do is. I'll probably unlock this guy because I, I can get 4,500 bucks. Oh, we'll be in the clear, baby. Oh, clearly in the black. No red more. Oh, it'd be brilliant. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.